Let's look at creating a user form. So far, um, our programs have basically worked with the spreadsheet interface itself. Uh, so we've used thing, little input boxes we've, for input, and we've written on the spreadsheet itself for output. So this works okay, but it's not very elegant or flexible. And there's a much better way to do things, which VBA gives us with a custom form called a user form. So to get started, I'm going to follow along in this blank workbook I've got. So let's go to the Developer tab and go over to Visual Basic. And up here, there's a button for inserting a user form. So when I click it, this is what shows up. And this is the code for the user form. This is the user form itself. And if I want it to be a little bigger, I can do something like that. Okay, so I've got a user form going here, uh, but I have to write some code to make it show up. So what I'm going to do is come over here and go back to the code for the workbook. Now, I could create a button to have to push to make the user form show up, but I'd rather have it show up right away when the workbook opens. So what I'm going to use, I'll put my option explicit, and then I'm going to use the workbook open sub. Oh, now, um, in order to make the user form show up, I have to give it a name. So let's go back over here. And um, here are the properties of my user form. And right now it's called user form one. So I want to give it a more uh, meaningful name. So I'm going to find the name and it's right at the, that property is right at the top here. So let's call it something like um, conditionals form. Okay. Push enter. And you can see it's changed up here and it's changed here. Now besides its name, the um, user form also has a caption, which shows up in the corner here. So I'm going to come down here to caption. And what I want the caption to say is something like demonstrate controls and conditionals. Okay. And you can see that showing up here. So, okay. Um, I'm calling my form conditionals form. So if I go back to the workbook and I need to click over here and remember what to put. So this is going through what I just did. The name, the caption, and we'll do the background color in a minute. And it's conditionals form dot show. Okay. So over here I'll do conditionals form dot show. All right. And that's all I need for that. So let's go back to our conditionals form. And now, how to change some of the other properties, like the color. Well, the color is this back color property here. So I'll make sure the form's selected. The back color property. Um, these are the system colors. Those are the colors you get that are used in whatever theme you're using in Windows. So you can see the colors for things like the scroll bars, the active title bar, etc. We want some more fun colors. So let's come over here and I can pick whatever color I want. So in the um, slides, I used yellow. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just click on yellow here and voila, there it is, it's all yellow. And I can change it whenever I want by coming back here. Uh, by the way, these properties can also be changed in the code and we'll look at doing something like that later. All right, so here we are and what I'm going to do is um, save this guy. So I'm going to save it as, let's say, uh, conditional demo. 
and I'm going to save it on my desktop, I think. Save. Oh, and you know what? Let's, um, what I forgot to do is say I want a macro enabled workbook. So, all right, now let's save it. Okay, so that's all done. And now I'm going to close it. Close the code, close the workbook. I'll shut this down too. And now here's my workbook that I just created. And when I open it up and enable the macros, see the user form shows up right away. And that's what I wanted. Okay, let's get this back here and continue. So here's a picture of what I just did. All right, so that's what we've done so far. Now you should go open a workbook and try it for yourself. Then we'll go on to show you how to add controls.